Chapter one. Here we go. Hopefully it doesn't freeze. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Wally the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand on a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the fiendish five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Chapter 1 Tide of Terror And here we go First chapter Keep out Yeah that ain't gonna stop me something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure. And like that ladder there? That is correct. But do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. The demo, it said we got a climbing thing from Carla King. Panda King. Enough. Begins a desperate search for bottles. If I can get over there first. Ugh, that's a weird sign. Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. Are you done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Wait a minute. Is there a bottle over there? Nope. Moving on. Ah! Uh, nice shot! Bitch can't do it again! Oh, what do you know? He did! Fail! Oh, no. According to my amphibial positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out! That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. Oh, yeah. Too many circle buttons. Grab onto hooks. Oh, 
There we go. Press the circle to add to the vault code. Ugh. The clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. Alright, 7, 9. Hang on, let me try it on this vault, see if I can get it. Darn it! Nope. Now the first technique, and always leave my mind. Dive. All right. And now for the epic key grab. Oh yeah. And now let's open this door. Woo! Alright, first part of the first chapter is done. And now, we're at the grounds. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police file suggests, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine! <laughs> but I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Ah, uh, he seems so confident. And a lucky charm. Woohoo! Wow, you found a lucky charm! That'll protect you when you take any damage. And... Happy at ends, the first part of chapter one. We'll be back with mission.